It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Batch Brewing Company in Australia, and this is a can of their Shabao. This is a Raspberry Sour Celebration Ale, coming in at 6.4% ABV in a 375 milliliter can. If it didn't say Shabao, which I pronounced it as, then please comment in the comments box. What does it say? I've got that down as Shabao, you know, when you, when you touch glasses together. Raspberry sour then, this should be very good from Bash Brewing Company without further ado. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Bit of hiss, bit of fizz, bit of beer in the top of the can. No real drama though. Have a listen. Really big dissipation from the head, which is really good. I can probably, if I want to, give this a bit of a rigorous pour. If I want to get rid of some of that carbonation. This is looking and sounding like a proper sour beer. 2021 and 2020, the year of the supermarket beer, if you like, in the UK was the year of what I would call slightly fake stouts. No, actually not stouts, slightly fake sours, where sour beer wasn't really being sour beer because the head wasn't dissipating as quick as it should have been. And they were putting lime and lemon concentrates into sour beer or into beer, into ales, and calling it sour beer because you had that kind of sour sharpness from the lemon and the lime. By that head dissipating so quickly, I am relatively confident that this is going to be a fantastic sour from Batch Brewing Company. It is juicy and red in the colour, looks like raspberry juice. Nice levels of carbonation, head is gone, which I think is very important for a sour beer. Now what happens... With the head retention on sour beer, the reason why it dissipates so quickly is the style of beer. Instead of making those lovely malts nice and sweet, the brewer will use lactobacillus, which is a milk byproduct, and they will use that and it will make the beer change direction. Basically, it's like a paddle on a boat, changing the, the, the boat's direction, wherever you want to go in life. You either go that way or that way. It's the same with lactobacillus. Lactobacillus stops the beer going in the direction of sweet and it sends it in the direction of sour. There's a little story for you. Um, I want to say massive thank you to Mick in Australia for sending me this wonderful looking and sounding beer. Thank you very, very much, Mick. Big supporter of the channel. Let's get the aroma of this hazy, bright red coloured beer. Yeah, that smells great. Absolutely great. Did I give the ABV? I think it was 6.4. one. 6.4% ABV. That's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. This is like standing in a Brussels cafe bar with a glass of... Cantillon fruit lambic. That wonderful sourness that, and that wonderful fruitiness that, that battle each other in the aroma. But this is not from Belgium, the home of sour beer. This is from Australia. <coughs> Amazing, let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Oh, that is, ho, ho, ho. Oh, wow. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. That is incredibly, incredibly sour. Wow. Oh, that is, that is, you know, in your face sour beer. That 
And I love it. I love every mouthful of it. Big, bold, tartness, sourness, fruit, raspberry. It tastes like real raspberries. It's just unbelievable. So good. So good. And what I like about sour beer is after a few tastes, your palate will adjust very quickly to the sour taste. And then you start to experience the other flavors in the beer. The raspberry is prominent. What I like about sour beer is the fact that once that kind of sourness dies down very quickly, you're left almost instantly with this lovely light, wafer-like malt flavour that just finishes the whole, it just carries on and on and on with the lovely wafer biscuit flavours. Even to this point, there's a combination of raspberry and wafer that I'm just tasting. Beautiful beer, quite carbonated, you can hear the carbonation coming, coming back through my system. And if you notice now, everything's a lot calmer. That initial pour, pour, in your face is gone. And you're left with a massive kind of fantastic drinkable raspberry sour beer with, with lovely wafer-like flavors. A little bit of bitterness on the back end. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, beautiful beer. Uh, we brew for you, it says. Uh, we brew this beer <coughs> to say thank you for giving us another year to do what we love. It's with the help of you and the people we get our produce from that makes all of this possible. Berries from Westerway Raspberry Farm in Tassie's Derwent Valley, an organic Voyager craft malt grown by organically Greenwood. Now, take this beer and celebrate with friends and loved ones. Cheers. I love that. I love the fact that they've managed to talk about, or they, they've wanted to talk about where they get their raspberries from and where the malt comes from. Absolutely wonderful. What a, what a nice kind of finishing story on that, just to say, hey, raspberries from here, malt is from here. Amazing. Raspberry sour celebration ale. Amazing, amazing beer. And I like the... the uh, the artwork on the can, you can see the whole kind of brewing system here in the background. Um, I want to say a massive, massive thank you again to Mick in Australia for being just wonderful, really. Mick has been sending us beer to our channel for a number of years now. Um, and they're all generally terrific, terrific beers. Beers that you, you know when you get a tube from Mick that you know every single beer in that tube is incredible incredible beer incredible beer and I, and I cheers to that because i wouldn't have a chance to try this beer if it wasn't for mick or trap for that matter because it's the other side of the world other side of the world and we don't get to order beer from the other side of the world unfortunately even though this is as good as it is um but yeah i'm ready to rate it amazing look to it amazing aroma amazing taste Just raspberries galore. It's like they've crammed in as many raspberries as possible into this sour beer. I like that enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.